5 seconds mr speaker sir i rise to reply to the criticisms made about the scarcity and famine conditions prevailing in many parts of the state there is no doubt that famine is serious and extensive it is not as if our land was not affected by famine at any time i heard the other day one honorable member saying that even in the days of rama there was famine so famine is not a new feature but the new feature now is that it is extensive as well as continuous and acute and we will have to find out the causes for it the second world war upset the whole food situation in the country and famine conditions have become acute as well as continuous thereafter every member tries to voice his grievances and in some cases even normal deaths are taken as starvation deaths honorable members are aware that the failure of monsoons has been continuous for about 5 or 6 years as a result scarcity conditions have been extensive whereas previously they used to be concentrated in certain areas now there are scarcity conditions even in fertile districts so we are not able to tackle the problem as early as we need to do in farmer days i do agree that there are distress conditions but what i want to say is that they are made to appear more serious than they are i take this opportunity to tell the honorable members that we have been able to meet the scarcity and distress conditions throughout the state if honorable members consider the matter without prejudice they will come to the conclusion that the government have done what all can be done we have taken up relief works and they employ a large number of people we have been running gruel centers and on account of better agricultural season this year their number has been reduced in areas where it can be reduced loans for agricultural purposes were given and if a large number of wells were depend the collection of kist has also been postponed in many districts we have received proposals for remission of kist from many districts remission has been ordered in some districts and in other districts it will be ordered very soon an honorable member has stated that a famine enquiry committee may be formed which will enquire into all the problems of acute famine and suggest permanent remedies for the eradication of famine i may tell the honorable members that the government of india have already constituted a similar committee that committee has toured scarcity and famine areas and i think it has submitted its report to the center and it is under their active consideration we may know something about the results sometime later then my friend referred to the milling of rice as far as i am personally concerned i entirely agree with him it is true that if there is too much milling of rice it washes out the vitamins and so the rice that we eat now after being polished gives rise to many diseases but the government cannot pass any specific order in this regard i would suggest that if necessary people may take boiled rice it is really good for health and i may said that vitamins are not lost if we eat boiled rice that is why the poor people who eat boiled rice are strong in conclusion i request honorable members to work for the welfare of the people 
we should all be united and work together so that our country may be a great country letter from krishna and company chennai to the city provision stores limited chennai dear sir sir we have great pleasure in informing you that our firm has been entrusted by kamal oil mills limited mumbai with the marketing of their kamal brand oils and soaps throughout the state kamal goods do not need any introduction to the trade they are manufactured by a well known business house and they have already made a name for their purity and excellence their lotus soap and lotus hair oil are familiar to every household in northern india under arrangement with our principals we have agreed to keep a large stock of their products we shall be in a position to effect delivery from our stock of all varieties of kamal goods we should like to point out that under the terms of the agreement with our principals we have been appointed their sole distributors in tamil nadu and that all orders from dealers in the state will be looked through as we enclose a wholesale price list of kamal products you will note that all prices are subject to a trade discount of 10% we have always aimed at supplying you with goods of the best quality and once again we offer you high grade goods on the most convenient and attractive terms we have no doubt that you will avail yourselves of this great offer as early as possible yours faithfully